Yo, second place of honor, Rachel. Let's go. What's good, everyone? Welcome back to another video. Uh, you know, it's been a while since we posted. I know I promised you guys 100 days of pendulum, but 100 days, 100 days of posting starts now. 100 days starts now. I'm back home. No more traveling. Just grinding. 100 days of Yu Gi Oh! starts now. 100 days of Yu Gi Oh! starts now. No 100 days of pendulum. 100 Days of Yu-Gi-Oh! starts now. And what better than the deck profile that I've been in second place with at the regional. And I'm going to show you guys the deck list I used. I used Synchro Pile El Lich. Absolutely amazing. Not no ugly ass El Lich with floodgates. But super cool El Lich that puts up 10 negates. It's basically a pendulum deck without scales. So we're going to get straight into this deck profile. But before we do, I have an amazing announcement. The only reason I've been in second place is for all you amazing people that have purchased the Beyond Your Pendulum Playmat. You know how much love I have for you guys. It sold out in 24 hours with uh, Team Summer X1's help, who is helping me make my playmats now. Uh, it has been absolutely amazing. So what I'm going to be doing actually is, you know, all the Beyond the Pendulum Playmats are sold out. But for one more day, one more day, I will be releasing all the Beyond the Pendulum Playmats in honor of my second place finish. And to make matters even better, not only can you guys still get your Beyond the Pendulum Playmats for only the next 24 hours, I'm actually, I don't, I don't, I already have a thousand deck boxes, guys. I don't need the deck box. This is, this is actually really cool. Finally, they co release good deck boxes for regionals. I'm actually going to be giving away this deck box to one person who gets the beautiful Beyond the Pendulum Playmats. You will have a random surprise. One lucky uh, winner will have a random surprise of my signed deck box in the package with the Beyond the Pendulum Playmat. Absolutely amazing. So exciting. And for everyone who's already purchased the other Pendulum Playmat, you are also going to be involved in this giveaway. So if you guys are like this awesome, amazing Pendulum deck box, make sure to go check out the other Pendulum Playmats. I'll select one lucky winner, and you'll get my signed deck box for absolutely clapping and obliterating everyone. With that being said, though, let's get straight into this deck profile, boys. It is absolute gas. 60 card synchro pile. Best deck of the format after Pendulum. Let's go. I'm finished second place with Synchro Pile. I think this deck is absolutely amazing. It is the new Pendulum without scales. It, it, it's amazing. You guys have to see it. All Pendulum lovers. It's basically a Pendulum deck without scales with a minor Elledge engine, a Synchro Elledge engine. Absolutely amazing second place. I should have won, but it's all good. Now I was also awesome. a kiss. Tag him oh if God. you get it on Twitter. Tag Let's him. go. Tag me if you get it. Anyways, get straight Let's to the deck go. profile. All right. It is Synchro Pile. Insert every tuner engine ever made in Yu-Gi-Oh! history all in one deck. This Punk engine, let me tell you right now, okay? This Punk engine is the best engine in Yu-Gi-Oh! right now, okay? Forget Sword Soul, forget Despia. What one Itali does, you don't understand how powerful this is. But what Foxy Tune does, one, any of these cards lead to uh, Chaos Ruler, and Zombie Mask, you're milling nine cards, you're adding one, you're specialing three monsters from the Mossy Summer and Zombie Master, the three monsters in the field, make full Needle Viper combo. It's like absurd what it does. And if this deck mills nine, the duel's over. You'll see what I mean. It's why you play Outlet, it's why you play other stuff. More tuner engines. This is like the best part of the deck. It's a 16 card pile. Now just the other tuner engines. This is, these are what you summon off Needle Fiber, depending on the hand. Depending if you start off with Chaos Ruler or not, if you want Hot Red. Depending if you start off with the Brave stuff, it all depends. It, it really merits very good genius gameplay because you want to look ahead of time what happens. You also play Destrudo. Also, just cards that are generically good to send off Chaos Ruler or generically good to send off a Punk and stuff like that. Very amazing synergy and all the levels just work out together. Next, you play Five Magician Souls. No preparation of rights because you all will always have cards to discard because of Elledge and stuff like that and you want to send good stuff off Chaos Ruler. You want Chaos Ruler to always send a Souls. Like, Souls in this deck is absurd. You have Eldritch, you have en Enchantress, you have Right. You're drawing so many free times, and if you don't have Enchantress, typically you Chair Obedient. So Souls is going to be absurd in this deck. So I, I want Chaos Ruler to search it versus playing Preparation of Rights. To ensure that all these get more value and the Souls get more value, of course you want to play the uh, Right Package. Just one of each, no Illegal Knight. Uh, I understand a lot of people like it, but... I don't care about the, the break package, it's just, just it for levels. Mm -hmm. It's just it for levels and a little bit of plus going second. Maybe slow matchups, you go Grimmin plus hand traps. But a combination of all these together, absolutely amazing. It was crazy, the Illegal Knight was so good for me today. Hey, that's 100% that's fantastic when I played with Illegal Knight, I liked it as well. But I was tuner turbo, baby. All the tuners, every extra mm -hmm. slot, I just wanted tuners. And next, the LH engine. Very minor LH engine. Very minor, you're not playing no ugly ass 20 trap, L 30 trap LH. This is a very minor Elich engine where you play one with Carol, one Golden Lord, just to get value off of Magician Souls and get value off of the punk cards. So when you go Foxy Tune, discard Scarlet Sanguine. Tell me a better card in Yu-Gi-Oh to discard off, off, off Foxy Tune. 
It is not Plague Spreader. It is not Jet Synchron. They're all neg ones. One Scarlet or one Wakero leads to a plus four by the end of the duel. Wakero, Scarlet. Conk, Scarlet. Conk, Lord. Coming back multiple times. It's literally a plus four, plus five. Plus a million. So just one of the engine. Because you're playing such a minor engine in a 60 card deck, you're not gonna be opening the like the reason the only time Elish could be asked is when you open like you know like imagine you open like these four in your hand like that's awful even with a tuner it's awful it mm -hmm. it'll happen once maybe in a big tournament but like because you're playing 11 cards 60 cards it's not gonna happen very rarely and you'll side out some of the L lands just to make sure this doesn't happen but this makes the deck it's the meat of the deck it is the backbone of the deck do not play the deck without it it is the backbone of it you actually need it and you'll understand what i'm talking about when you proxy to a scarlet and realize that you somehow won the grind game five turns later because of one scarlet sanguine and nothing else a random one else it is a scythe deck the end board is basically scythe needle fiber bearing the floor fairy tale snow with 20 cards in graveyard uh shooting riser uh to make into another monster and a, a hot red dragon archfiend abyss with potential of the 18 hand traps and any elish card you're going to draw now the hand traps Every single tuner hand trap you could possibly play. Ghost Organ is not crazy this format. Of course, it's not. I know. But you want... It, I don't play Sangan. It was you, surprisingly good for me today. I drew the one of multiple times. It was surprisingly yeah, good hey, for me. It, Just come, it comes up at times. Your opponent doesn't play around it. It does come up at times. And be, being a tuner... Like, would you rather summon a Sangan? Uh, would you rather have a Sangan in your hand or a Ghost Organ hand when your opponent's comboing? If you're going first and you want one extra plus one from Sangan, you already won the duel. This deck is insane. It plays with so many hand traps. I will prefer to ensure my opponent is not playing. So I make sure to put every single tuner hand trap in the game. The best normal summon in Yu-Gi-Oh at the moment is a tuner hand trap because it ensures that going second, your opponent is not doing shit. I didn't win a lot of, I won a few dice rolls, yeah, but all the dice rolls I lost, it doesn't matter. I'm at 18 hand traps, what's my opponent doing? It doesn't matter, oh it's fine. Post side deck, there's like even more hand traps going in. Post side deck, there's 26 hand traps. Like, oh it's good. I, I, no that's fear. nothing. Well, that's, like, that's, that's a lot of hand traps. So it's like, and then you just know, like if you look at your hand, and let's say for example, you have a hand where it's like, you have right of air means here for example, and then uh, you just have a bunch of hand traps. You make sure to save one of the tuners. Yeah, it's very you simple. Combo off that. Yeah, like post side deck, you can have crow, you got a token collector, save the tuner. And you have full combo. And one needle fighter plus one right does a lot. Like it's all uh, does sure. more than you guys can imagine. The red rails just breaks down. Yeah, like, how was Mourner? Mourner honestly was insane. In my honest opinion, guys, okay, the hand trap order of the best, okay? Nibiru number one. You don't understand. It is the like you must play Nibiru no matter what. Then after that is Ash. After that is Valor. After that is Imperm. I think everyone is in agreement of these, correct? You could say Droll if you want, but no, I don't care. I don't like Droll. Ghost Warner is next. Ghost Warner puts in serious work. Against what? Flunder you're scared of? I don't care about no Flunder. The next free. I hope I play nine Flunders. Ghost Warner, okay. And then, yeah, then Ghost Ogre is only one that I would say is pretty shit, but it's a tuner. So it doesn't matter, and there's still value you get off Ghost Ogre. You'll be surprised. Like, you just random value throughout a random duel, it does come up. Uh, it's amazing. Guys, that's absolutely absurd. I want to go play another tournament right now, Regionals. I'll still win. I'll play one hand with Pendulum, one hand with this deck, and I'll still go 9-0. I should have win, win today. My goodness. Relinquish Anima are very important. If you want a, a combo, so you guys understand why Needle Fiber is so insane in this deck. Is once you go into one of those needle fiber combos, you go jet synchron, go relinquish anima, summon the jet, and then you get dagda. So basically, one needle fiber is full combo. So you can imagine what one e he does, which is basically chaos ruler, mill nine, draw a thousand, and then still do this with one card, one e telly, one foxy tune. It's absurd what the deck does. Um, so yeah, you play these. This is like the main part of the combo. And then uh, you play one Sherabini, which is very important. It makes sure that you get to send uh, your Enchantress. Also, I did not play it because I was just, I didn't want, like, I was too lazy to find it, to be honest. But going second, if you go Cherubini, it's a free card in your combo for free, for completely free, free. You just get rid of the Shooting Riser and you make the, make the Cherubini. You go into Cherubini, you send Phoenix Rhino Warrior to send Token Collector. So in this format, Token Collector does a lot. It stops Sword Source on Brave, etc. It's not mainable because of Despia, but it's something to keep in mind that I probably should have played one of those. I missed it earlier, but that's it. Uh, once lead, and then both one dark, one liner. Going second, this is vital. This is vital. Can't stress this enough. Absolutely amazing. Play both. You're playing El Lich. It's actually mandatory to play this. Celine Axis Code, okay? The only card I would debate about playing is Unicorn. Nothing else is debatable. You're not playing Unicorn? I'm not wow. playing Unicorn. It was, uh, I missed it twice. I still won both games, but I did think to myself I'd have it. I might get rid of Cherubini for it, but they're both so good. Cherubini comes up and Unicorn comes up. Nothing else is cuttable. Lina is like, with Eldritch cards, it's mandatory, not debatable. Herald, TG, Shooting Riser, Baron, all very important. Next, okay? All these cards might as well just not even be here. Aside from Needle Fiber and Dagda combo, this is the real MVP of the deck. 
I cannot stress this enough. You guys saw the deck. Nine LS cards, Jet, the Strudo, Enchantress. There's so many great effects. If this resolves, the duel is over. When you go this, Chainlink 2, Deer, targeting Foxy Tune, you don't target Zayamine. You're going to summon a tuner anyways. You're going to guarantee your mill four on top. You're milling nine. You're milling nine. You're drawing, you're searching one. You're specialing one. Chaos Ruler coming back twice. Free Needle Fiber because you're going to summon a tuner from your, you're milling eight because you could take a monster from your opponent as well. I don't care if my opponent mills four great effects. He's not playing. It doesn't matter. What are those more grave effects gonna do? Like it doesn't matter. I was playing. Uh, I played one. I played one uh, non-meta deck the whole game, the whole day. Okay, it was a BA deck. It milled Farfa. I don't give a shit. I still have one combo. It doesn't matter. <laughs> and then one hot red because in times where uh, you don't really need red rose to do a full combo, it's nice to have a free negate with the Baron when you open Chaos Ruler. This is when you open a Punk card. You typically end on Jet to go do this as well. That's extra deck. Absolutely amazing. Don't touch anything. Don't don't think you're cute or something saying like, oh, I don't really need Lina. I'm just going to play Unicorn. Just shut up. Just play this card for card. Maybe get rid of Cherubini for a Unicorn. Maybe, if anything. But nothing else. You don't touch anything else. Trust me. You'll understand when you play. Side deck, three crow, three token collector, and two Skullmeister. Uh, Skullmeister, wow. I put in work today. When, every time I drew it, I put in work. I didn't draw it a lot. It's a two of and a 60 card deck. I'm going to draw it maybe once or twice. They put some work. Against Despia, there's three things you can hit. Against Sword Soul, you'll be surprised when they set up a whole combo just for Ashina. Then you get rid of the Ashina. Or even in the grind game when you hit a Vashuda. It does come up. Obviously, it doesn't stop them. But it, you saw how I many I put 26 hand traps. It, it, comes up, it comes up a lot. Uh, and there's just no other... Like, Droll would be the only other hand trap to play. But every single time I'm in, in testing, when I would Droll a base player, which is basically what I'm playing except L with cooler cards, like, there's, I got Droll and Ash today in front of Milano. And I still pull off yeah. full combo with Scarlet and a hand trap in hand. I think. I don't, I, I don't know how I'm going to remember. It was, it, was, like it was crazy, yeah. And then this is very important because Banshee you could send very easily with the whole deck. Uh, so many decks lose to this one card. And you need to play two Zombie World in case Chaos, uh, Chaos Ruler gets rid of one of the Zombie Worlds. Play all three. There's a lot of tricks involved with this where you just keep it forever until your opponent does something that actually then you're forced, forcing you to do it. Don't like play into Lightning Storm, let him summon some cards first and then do it. Uh, absolutely, absurdly good this format. I can't stress this enough. Don't play D Barrier Anti Spell. Literally just triple this out. I actually want to play more. It's not crazy. But it, you, one is all you need because it's searchable. And then for back row, you play these four. That's it for the deck. Guys, the deck was amazing. Uh, my only loss was literally to the Mirror Match because of the best fucking deck. And anytime I would see Sword Soul, Flunder, Despia, I basically I already signed the match slip before it started. The, it, they are so easy to defeat. But when you play a base deck, like a deck like this, is I'm telling you, punk cards are the best cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! right now, aside from Servant and Demian. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget, all right, one of you guys will be getting this amazing deck box. I appreciate all you guys for the support. Uh, you guys are absolutely amazing. I want to shout out Milano as well for recording this deck profile. Gang, gang. That's my boy. Also, shout out to my boys, also top the event, Ryan, Siobhan, and Sam. Yes, Hope you guys go. enjoyed the video. Don't forget to smash the like button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Zulu.